I think some people may know that we work a lot with youth in Israel where we have Jewish and Arab and Palestinian youth together. And through many years of working in this, we've realized there are different stages uh, that God is after. There's a kind of a first stage, which is reconciliation, where we ask forgiveness for things our people group have, has done to another people group, uh, the lack of love toward that other people group, or toward, and then it can be just in, between individuals as well, reconciliation. <clears throat> Excuse me. But then there's also a step beyond reconciliation that I call unity, and that's where you're beginning to walk more together. You have more communication, you do more things together, you begin to get to know each other better, and uh, there's a, a, a unity uh, of heart that's often very much around a common vision uh, or a common goal, and and that's very good. It's a, it's a next step in that process, but I think many of us have stopped there and that the Lord is after oneness uh, the John 17 kind of oneness to me when he says that they may be one as you and I father are one <laughs> means a, a, a joining a melting almost of hearts together and that is very much a work of the Holy Spirit when we can come into that melting of hearts together uh, where we genuinely care more about others than we care about ourselves uh, in most situations, I don't think we can honestly say that's true. <laughs> and so it's something where God is taking us. I'm not sure uh, how, how much we're living oneness yet. I, it's something I think God is, is moving us into. And I think uh, a lot of that has to do with the dealings of God in our, in our hearts and in our lives, uh, helping us to realize what is really important, that uh, when we're with the Lord, uh, how much we've produced or, or accomplished isn't what really counts. It's, it's uh, the love that we showed to him to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so oneness is getting to that point where we really aren't living for uh, our ministry or our I, our Ident false identity found in what we do, but it's in our true identity of who we are as, as sons and daughters of the living God who reflect his love. He is love, and we re reflect his loving, costly love. Uh, oneness uh, would be a very costly love. And to be honest, I, I don't know if I'm there yet. I, don't, I, I just say, go oh God, take me there. And I think it's something that we just need to keep pursuing and not just lightly think while well, we've arrived at oneness, but to say, Lord, just uh, work a deal in my heart till the selfishness is really pulled out. And, and I really do deeply, more deeply care for others than I care for myself.